Hello fellow geeks and hardware enthusiasts, welcome back to my Ryzen build log. I, I've built the system, I've tested it thoroughly, it runs flawlessly, I'm very happy with it. Now it's time to put the water cooling part inside of it. Before that, I'm going to unbox the, the pump and the reservoir that I bought for it. It's the uh, X-Top River Dual D5 pump, which is a Dual D5 pump. Inside of it is a pretty simple box, but properly packaged. So inside, as you expect, you're gonna find the beastly Dual D5 pump, which is massive and it's honestly pretty heavy. So you have uh, on each side, on each side of it, a four-pin power connector and a PWM speed controller. Again, they could have braided the cables or painted it black. Uh, minor uh, problem, as you can, you could argue. Inside of it, so you have a small phone to protect it, and underneath of it, you have uh, my mounting brackets. Which allow you to screw it on, a, on holes. You have some leeway, so it would go something like that. And manual, and then you have the package with a, a lot of screws inside, so you could uh, an Allen key, big Allen key, light Allen key. So the big allen keys so for the alternative input or output of it. Uh, that's it. Nothing too exotic. And now we're gonna take a closer look at the reservoir I bought to go with it, the X3 250 light. So it's a pretty simple reservoir, it's an acrylic reservoir, so keep in mind uh, some coolants may attack the acrylic inside of it. So there's a manual, a bubble wrapped reservoir, so it's properly protected when you receive it. So it has a extension tube so it doesn't splash on top of it, Al alongside with that. You have a wireless accessory inside. You have a, a small phone that you you're supposed to put on the bottom, so you avoid vortex issues. I personally like vortex, and I'm tempted to keep it, to not put it inside. Actually, have a mounting kit, two parts for mounting it. I'm gonna just show you how you use one of them. So what you do? You just force it and it clicks and then you screw it somewhere on, on your case on a specific hole. Uh, my initial intention, actually yes, you could after you clip it, there's a little bit of screw here so you can tighten it, tighten it up so you make sure it doesn't fall. I'm not actually sure if you actually need two of those in order to hold it. I'm I'm going to use one of them. So my initial plan, and I bought this reservoir for that purpose, is the reservoir that is recommended on the cave page. Is so you could use the included extender here that you've got. That you're supposed to screw here. This way. It's not sold separately and you can only do that with this specific reservoir. And, I, and the idea was really that uh, you put a small hole here and you screw it this way. So 
you don't need to use either those and just you need to secure the pump unit well everything looks very really nice and dandy but there's a quite a problem with it so as you can see it doesn't sit straight there's an inclination so honestly it's gonna look ugly if you put it in your case and it looks this way and this basically limits the way you could put it you could put it this way on your window and not basically see the inclination but yeah or you could raise it a little bit this way to so counter it put something behind it but again then the pump won't be perfectly horizontal like the way it should supposed to be so yeah my, my idea was when I bought it to put it like this initially I wanted to put it further on the right and by using the uh, uh, the uh, fittings I realized that I didn't have enough, enough space for it to use it so I said I'm going to pull it further, on, further to the left and uh, that's why I got the second radiator this way but yeah the, there's, there's a problem to that as you can see if I put it this way it's it doesn't align actually well with the screws on the below of it and uh, it's quite and this way actually the, it starts hitting with the uh, the cables for the power supply this is a quite short power supply if you have a longer power supply this is going to be a bigger issue uh, I asked EK I created a ticket on their own website because I bought those directly from EK and I asked them is this a manufacturing defect are all the pumps this way and they told me oh uh, they, they avoided the question and they told me you could use uh, another way or something to push it up and force it this way really disappointing uh, response that I got from them I asked them to urge their engineers to, to reconsider the design of this uh, this uh, this combo of uh, pump and reservoir since as I said for that price it's not justifiable you got more than 200 viewers for that you got around 60 euros for the reservoir yeah well, so maybe maybe you're better off for a single pump and reservoir that goes with it uh, I wanted the redundancy this pump offers plus the speed it offers so I won't have to ever worry about either pump failing not that these deep 5 pumps are bad I have another deep 5 pump that I've been using almost 10 years and still runs strong at full speed I bought the, 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 the other pump from Coolans but they all get it from the same source uh, I'll keep posted what I'm going to do actually I'm going to secure this uh, reservoir right here and detach it from the base and uh, find another way to mount it and uh, make sure I g have enough space for a bigger graphics card on the future and just mount this pump maybe on top of an like, additional fan on the bottom and uh, yeah so I'm gonna gonna tear up the system uh, I'm gonna remove this bigger reservoir uh, sorry radiator uh, there was when I bought this case and I bought this radiator I bought it because they said you could put the thickest radiator on top of it and have enough space and stuff it's wrong uh, the one who says that on YouTube is uh, the channel O3T Tommy Tom Logan. I think he's a Corsair page page shield. Everything that Corsair ever does, he drools on it. Uh, yeah, so 100 euros wasted. I bought a uh, 20 millimeter thinner radiator, so I can have have three fans on it, and uh, the clearance actually needed to 
to assemble this stuff. So in this case, maximum radiator thickness you can go is 40 mil, not 60 mil. It's pointless even if if I can put the third fan here and I lose the performance of the bigger area. Remember, radiator more surface area is more important than thickness of radiator. So that's it for this episode. Keep posted and see you next time. Bye all.